Hi, welcome to the Windmill Windup. I'm Elliot Trotter for Sky Magazine here with Fred and Franz, the directors of Windmill Windup. Guys, let's start by talking about how it all went. We're, we're coming to the end of a long three-day uh, weekend, three-day extravaganza. Uh, how did it go? Uh, I would say it was a huge success. Uh, we came here in with uh, big ambitions. We wanted to improve on our last year's performance. We wanted to have uh, even more uh, better teams and bring br uh, bring up the, the the amount of entertainment a few notches. Uh, we worked hard for it the, the whole year, and uh, yeah, when I walked back from the party yesterday, from one party to the other, and overlooking the whole big tent and seeing a lot of people playing games, playing piano in an, in an, another big tent there, working on this elephant, painting it, and everybody having such a great time. I thought like. Yeah, this is cool. It's great. Fred, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. It was a, it was a huge success. I mean, uh, 100,000 uh, smiling faces is what I remember in the last three days. But uh, uh, we had a great final. We had uh, actually the quarterfinals all the way through the through the finals were, were solid matches, I thought. And uh, and uh, yeah, as Franz said, it's it's hard to it's hard to beat all those happy faces doing cool stuff the whole weekend. Yeah. And I'm sure it's hard to quantify it now after a long weekend of work, but uh, what were some of your, your favorite moments from the weekend? Uh, I enjoyed the final today. We were uh, we had some time. We were, we were kind of prepared for, uh, for the final and, uh, and got, got a chance to sit down and actually just watch it without running around too much. And uh, full full stadium and uh, and a great game. Nice weather, finally dry. And uh, and uh, even though it was it was quite windy for the for the final, but uh, yeah, there were still plenty of overheads and uh, and good action. But uh, on, alongside that, we had all sorts of uh, of shenanigans between the points and good good uh, good vibe in the in the stadium. I thought that was that was my favorite part. Yeah, I could, I could, as I said, uh, I could add so many things to that in, in which I had great feelings or uh, uh, happy feelings like um, because you work a lot during the tournament and um, with all this adrenaline of all the people uh, cheering or smiling after an act or there was this guy doing card tricks, it's just such a small thing, but then there were at Again, 80 people enjoying for 15 minutes, and all those small moments make it uh, really worthwhile. Yeah. Something that we found just amazing is you have people from all over Europe uh, coming and, and participating in this event, and it's this amazing melting pot. And there are also all these amazing traditions that have seemed to have formed at this event. What do you think that uh, the windmill wind up means for European Ultimate? Well, I think it's uh, well. I think it's it's kind of reflects on our goal actually. Our goal is to to be a, a high level tournament because uh, uh, you know we have the Swiss draw format, which makes you you fight for every point to the end. Um, and it uh, and that attracts uh, the better teams because they want to be playing for ninety minutes at a time and they want to be playing for three days and uh, and and that's why we have the 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 majority of the top teams of Europe coming to this tournament. On the other hand, we we. Prop the the weekend totally full with uh, with entertainment and uh, and all sorts of fun stuff so that you know that teams come with 20 people because they want to they want to party and they want to they want to play hard and yeah the, the the work hard play hard mentality or play hard play hard mentality is uh, is exactly what we're trying to achieve and I think that's uh, that's yeah that's reflected in the fact that more teams keep coming and signing up. I totally concur. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, Back a few months ago, before you know, we we had decided that we we're going to be coming out to this event. We talked about what you want the future of this event to be, uh, based on what you saw today. You know, what are you guys excited about bringing in years to come? Um, well, somebody just uh, made a nice um, comparison to a Schiphol, the local airport, which connects a whole bunch of uh, different countries. Um, and uh, I feel that um, in, in the future the windmill could also be um, even more of, of that like it is now, um, integrating or different uh, or people or in teams from different parts of the world into one big event, uh, as you said, uh, like a melting pot. On the one hand, uh, increasing the level of competition, but on the other hand, um, 
staying true to to what we really want and to is basically to have a great uh, fun environment and I don't know yeah keep keep <laughs> keep pr promoting those uh, keep smiling on. smiling faces yeah. in the end yeah Fred do you have anything to add to that nope no. that's uh, that's that's it that's it well lastly uh, you know our, certainly we have a, a lot of uh, of our readers and our viewership uh, in the states and you know being able to see what this tournament's all about is something we're really excited to present uh, we also had a lot of people here come to us and say you know how does this compare to American tournaments um, what do you think it would mean for participants of this event to have an American tournament come out uh, an American team come out and compete yeah I, th I think that'd be really interesting because I think um uh, European Ultimate is, is definitely different than American Ultimate. I have I haven't played all that much in America, but my experience is that it's uh, it's uh, it's a fun sport and it's a fun group of people doing. Uh, uh, but but they're playing tournaments and it's it's fairly sport oriented and it's not uh, it, it or maybe it, it lacks a bit of the the relaxed um, yeah the relaxed vibe that uh, that European Ultimate has to offer. On the other hand. American teams would bring a, a level of competition and a level of, of class, actually, as far on the on the pitch that uh, that European teams could actually learn from and benefit from. So that would that's kind of part of the reason that we we are kind of partnered with you and uh, and have uh, have tried to uh, tried to expand uh, expand our, our base of teams. This year we had 24 countries or something, with, all within Europe and. Uh, and uh, well, next year, maybe 25, huh? <laughs> 26, <Yeah. laughs> with a couple of North American com uh, countries or teams. Yeah. Yeah. You're, and you're forgetting the Israel team. Ah, right. This year, we had for the first time the Israel mixed team. Very cool. Uh, which was also a good addition. Oh, excellent. Didn't Jisik come from? No, sorry. I forget <laughs> it's okay. Well, guys, it sounds like this has been just a tremendous event, and it's continuing to grow, cont and it will continue to go to grow based on everything that I'm hearing about from participants who want to be back next year, based on everything you guys put into it. You know, I, I'm sure people can't thank you enough for all the hard work that you've put in. So, you know, once you guys have taken about a 23-hour nap, hibernation. yeah, hibernation for a while, I'm sure you guys will give yourselves a good pat on the back. And uh, just wanted to thank you. Uh, I'm Elliot Trotter for Sky Magazine, here with Fred and Franz, tournament directors of Windmill Windup 2012 here in Amsterdam.